Hey, it's the Empire, G Boxing Empire, back to boxing. Now, nah, man, you guys see my boy AJ, man, looking swole, man, taking those body shots, and he's looking like he's going back to his old self, man. The power punching machine, the man with nearly all KOs, my boy, unified WBA, IBF, IBO, WBO champion of the world, Anthony Joshua. You know, he's going back to the basics, man. But he's throwing punches while getting hit in the stomach. One uh, big critique of him in the Andy Reese fight was, you know, he was so big, he gassed out so quickly. So now Anthony Joshua, he's getting big again, but he's mining his uh, stamina by having people hit his body shots while he works on the outside. Because that's a big step that Anthony Joshua needs to take to maintain his power and intense stamina now anthony joshua man he's uh, in line to fight korab polev that's most likely his next fight but he's eyeing this tyson fury fight and he thinks he can stop tyson fury because i never seen anthony joshua this big in uh until pre andy Ruiz. and that being said you know we were, everyone was thinking okay after the Andy Reese two fight, is he gonna be boxing now? Is he gonna be a state pure boxing? Is he moving it outside? Or is he gonna go back to his old ways and start be walking down guys? Now, in my opinion, man, I think that Anthony Joshua looked fantastic against Andy Reese. And I think he hit just as hard as he normally does against Andy Reese. Um, he just doesn't have the aesthetics. But you know, you know what they say, man, the aesthetics sell and AJ has a big fan base that's bigger than boxing. You know, uh, people say he has a fan base with the women. And you know, when you got a six pack, you swole, you buff, you know, it's hard not to sell. You know, you, you become bigger than your, your, uh, your boxing because, you know, Anthony Joshua at one point was uh, sponsored by Rolex, uh, sponsored by Dre Beats. I mean, I can go on and on about all these guys' sponsors. But that being said, man, Anthony Joshua is going to need to go back that, to the aesthetics because it sells, man. The lean AJ, man, why he's a great boxer, the lean AJ don't look ripped. The lean AJ isn't as like, exciting the lean aj doesn't look as uh just intimidating you know um that being said man anthony joshua maybe he can uh, maintain both the physical attributes of being aesthetically pleasing as far as the eight pack goes as far as the muscles go and still maintain the high stamina i'm really excited to see anthony joshua getting big again um but minding his uh stamina because that's always been a one critique of him that people have been saying way before he got stopped we we're saying this guy gasses out Right, we've seen flashes of that in the Vladimir Klitschko fight. When he fought Vladimir Klitschko won, uh, Anthony Joshua was gassing out uh, in that fight. He had a second win and because uh, Vladimir Klitschko did not push the pace in that fight. You know, um, it, uh, unfortunately for Anthony Joshua, he had to really take a loss and really gas out uh, against Andy Ruiz to really understand that maybe he needed a little bit more stamina because it's cool to have power and all, but it doesn't mean much if you have, you know, four rounds in you of power and if the guy's touching you up you can't respond because it takes too much stamina for all that muscle you know but anthony joshua he seems like he can do both in the andy reese fight he proved that he can maintain his stamina and still hit hard as well he just didn't really push the pace in the andy reese fight so i'm really excited to see this uh this this accolade for anthony joshua back to power baby we're gonna see um he's gonna make an example out of cobra pull up man he's gonna come for the ko he's gonna really try to push the pace in that fight and really uh submit himself as i'm back you know the andy reese fight he just had to get his feet wet again back into the championship mode and he became a two-time world champion now in this fight with cobra pull up he's gonna maintain his position as the best but he has to do it in spectacular fashion Kurat Polev is not a pushover, man. He did beat Huey Fury in, uh, he beat him in his home country, Bulgaria, but he still got the win, you know. Um, Kurat Polev has some solid wins. Um, he beat Darian Chenko as well. So Kurat Polev is not a pushover, man. He's just not a pushover. So we're going to see this whole Kurat Polev, Anthony Joshua fight. A lot of people are looking past Kurat Polev, um, but the division is the 
the, the division is what the division is. You know, um, everyone that was put in front of Koyapolev, they came up short. They came up short. So we're gonna see this fight, man. Who you guys going for, man? My boy AJ looking sharp, looking looking clean. My boy back, baby. Let me know you guys feel about it, though. My boy AJ, man, taking body shots. Wow, throwing punches, man, looking sharp, man. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire, Geobox Empire, bitch.